Let's all come to God in a word of prayer. Omnipotent Lord and Almighty God, may your name endure forever. May your fame continue as long as the sun. May people be blessed in you. And may nations call your name blessed. Blessed be your name, O Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be your glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with your glory. Indeed, O Lord, how lovely is your dwelling place. Our soul longs and faints for your courts, O Lord. Our heart and flesh sing for joy to you, O living God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, even singing your praise. And blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. For you, O Lord, are sun and shield. And you, O Lord, bestow favor and honor. No good thing do you withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, we trust in you, and we know that blessed is the one who trusts in you. And so, Lord, we pray that you give ear to our words, and Lord, consider our groanings. Give attention to our cries, O King, for to you we pray. Lord, we pray for our nation, and also, Lord, the nations of the whole world. We know, Lord, that we are in a time of calamity. Yet, O oh Father, we know that you are judging the nations. Just like what you saw, the wickedness of man was great on the earth during the time of Noah. Lord, the nations have sunk in the pit that they made, in the net that they hid. Their own foot has been caught. And Lord, right now you have made yourself known. You have executed judgment. You've executed judgment. And so, Lord, we pray that you put fear in all the nations. Let the nations know that they are but men. Lord, you have brought the counsel of the nations to nothing. It could be, Lord, perhaps that their counsel is indeed the nature. The nature of their counsel is sin. And Lord, you brought it to nothing. You have frustrated the plans of the peoples. And we pray that we'll acknowledge that. And we pray that because of this crisis, it would lead us to humility. Forgive us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We pray, O Lord, that in such a time, we'll seek wisdom. We'll seek wisdom. And somehow, O Lord, we pray that we'll be able to find wisdom in you. And it is in you. You said to Job, Behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. And to turn away from evil is understanding. Lord, your counsel will stand forever. Your plans, your plans endure to all generations. Blessed is the nation, Lord, whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. We pray, O oh Father, that again, as a reminder, we will be able to acknowledge you as God and as King of the world. Because we know, Father, that salvation is in you and you have made known salvation. You have made known salvation. And that is through your Son, Jesus the Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And we pray, O oh Father, that in our lives we testify your name. And so, Lord, we just want to lift up to you the government, the president, 
all the government officials. Please, O oh Lord, help them, guide them, aid them, and even convict them in such a time. They need your help. And we pray, Lord, for all, Lord, of these relief efforts, that they, Lord, may be somehow delivered in your appropriate time. And that, Lord, those who need them would receive them in the proper time. Blessed indeed, O Lord, are those who fear you. And blessed are those, Lord, whose hope is in you. So that you may deliver them, that you may deliver their souls from death and keep them alive. In such an extraordinary time, Lord, we pray that we'll wait for you. And all these people who need them, all these people who need all these resources, they will wait for you. Because, Lord, you have now become their help and their shield. We do want to lift up to you also the missionaries who are in need. We do pray for them that you might be able to sustain them of their needs. We pray for those of whom in their vicinities there are COVID-19 patients. Protect them, O oh Father. And those, Lord, who are not, who are in a situation where it's not directly related to COVID-19, but because of the situation, it has been complicated. Please, O oh Lord, hear their prayers and hear their cries. Answer them in their hour of need. We also pray, Lord, for um, the frontliners, the frontliners of whom you placed in order to somehow suppress and even defeat this disease. Lord, it's a, it's a formidable enemy. And Lord, we know that only you would be able to end this. But meanwhile, as they do their mission, the medical practitioners, the government uh, officials, those who are in the banking and food industries, the delivery services, and even Lord, the garbage collectors, all who are placed in the front line, Lord, Shield them from this disease. Preserve them. They are at your mercy. We are at your mercy. And we pray for those who were infected. But whose hope is in you. Hear them as well. Hear them as well. Answer them, Lord. Comfort them. And we pray, Lord, that as they plead for you, to save them. What's more essential, Lord, is that in their pleading, they wanted, they want to be saved from eternal damnation. May they repent of their sins, and may they believe in you. But then again, may they have mercy by preserving their lives. Lastly, we just want to pray for the Grace Gospel Church members. We pray, Lord, for those who are sick, who are worried if they have the disease. Please, O oh God, protect them as well. Protect them. But more importantly, for all of us who profess our faith in you, help us to be steadfast. Help us to pursue you each and every day, being diligent in you without spot or blemish and at peace whatever may happen to us. Help us to seek such wisdom, which is, Lord, in the Word and in You. Help us to walk in a manner worthy of You, fully pleasing to You, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of You. And Lord, we await that day that we can come back in Your temple, in Your courts. Because, Lord, that is better than a thousand elsewhere. Lord, may we come to you with confidence because we know that we are sealed in the Spirit and we are redeemed by the blood of Christ. 
Thank you, Lord, for comforting us, for consoling us. And we lift up to you all these things with all thanksgiving and gratitude. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray as a church. Amen.